We had a great moment in the studio when we were recording that song. Um, with this new record, we really tried to record everything kind of as live as possible and really capture a vibe. And um, they've got this sound emporium as the studio we did the record in. Got, in the A room, they've got this uh, big, huge tracking space, beautiful grand piano that just, it's, it's one of my favorite pianos to play on. It's one of those that the minute you touch it, songs just kind of come out, even for a, uh, <coughs> not a very good piano player, but things just sound rich and, and it's really inspiring to play. So I wanted to track live, so with the drum kit and the piano right together, we threw all these blankets over it, and everybody's kind of in one room, and um, the engineer was like, you know, everything's going to kind of bleed into one another doing it this way. I was like, well, then I guess we're going to have to fucking do it right. <laughs> like that. And so uh, we did a couple of takes and the third one, it started to get a little better and better each time we sort of positioned things differently and the third take sort of started to feel like, okay, this might be the one. And so we set up some cameras because I thought, wouldn't this be cool if we could capture this like as it really happens? Because everything was going down live and we totally nailed it, and uh, I mean everything, like the, the solos, all the builds, there were no real overdubs on the track, and we finished it in the band, we all knew it, and, uh, and that's the version that is on the record, um, and the video didn't record at all, so. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I made fun of my father, my father's a photographer, and, and for years I've made fun of him. Because when I was a little baby, before I could even much walk, it took me to this celebrity pro-am golf tournament in Nashville. My dad grew up a huge baseball fan, and there was Mickey Mantle putting on the putting green. My dad had his camera out. He was super excited to try to get Mickey Mantle's picture. As he was watching to try to find the perfect angle, he was like, who has let their fat-ass baby crawl out there and pull on Mickey Mantle's pants while he's trying to putt? Oh, shit, that's my kid. The thing's over and he picks me up and damn near throws his back out because that was a huge, fat baby. He brings me back over and my dad is like, oh, my God. Mickey Mantle is holding my baby. And he starts snapping pictures and snapping pictures. And Mickey Mantle makes a joke and he hands me back because he doesn't want an extra baby, I'm sure, at that point in his life. And my dad is high on life at that point. And this is, of course, when you used to have to shoot pictures on actual film. And then you'd go develop them. And you develop them and realize that he had the lens cap on the camera. <laughs> We're two for two for cameras malfunctioning. <laughs> Slightly almost cool situations. Uh, it'd be cool if like this next song had something to do with cameras. It doesn't. But uh, I'm gonna play this next one for you anyway. Showing. 
started looking pretty sad. It was all war and death and hatred. Poverty and greed, he said, the rich folks and politicians are just starting to get the name. What part of love your neighbor is so hard to understand? I said, don't take it too hard, Jesus. It's just take a drive, my man. Thank <laughs> you. 